Hey my lovelies, welcome back to the channel. It has now been two days of trying to get work done on Nessie. Day one, great distraction with a care package from Harbour Freight. It was fantastic, really cannot be mad about that. Day two, something that should not have been time consuming, was very time consuming, moving the Jeep because I have misplaced my keys, FYI, still haven't quite found them yet. And the biggest thing was I didn't have the floor jack because I had left it at Kevin's garage. So, unpacked everything from the care package, phenomenal. Jeep has been moved with the spare key, still have to find the key. And we now have everything at the shop. So there is absolutely no freaking excuses whatsoever why we can't work on that corner armor today with Nessie. So I'm gonna finish making these coffees, head on into the truck, head on to the shop. We're gonna jack that girl up. We're gonna put her on jack stands, take the wheel and tire off, clamp the corner armor. And then we're actually gonna start what we set out to do a couple of days ago. Let's get going. We have absolutely no time to waste. Obviously, these are round tail lights and these are not. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a marker and trace out where we're gonna have to cut out so that this sits flat. And we're looking kinda good. Now they are blanks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our wheel and tire combo right here that we have that we're actually gonna be running. These are the ones that we're gonna be running for the race. We're gonna take a massive piece of cardboard that we've been keeping from packages arriving and uh, we're gonna trace out that wheel. We're gonna CAD a template up so that we know where to cut the corner armor. It's just time to do it on the other side. Okay, so now we've successfully cut the holes for the tail lights and they are pretty much in where we might need to do a little work on those, but they're in for the most part and they look great. We've clamped the corner armor up there. Now what we're doing is we're gonna trace the tire. We're gonna make a, a CAD so that we have a template so that we know where the tire is gonna sit and we can see where we're gonna need to cut. Oh. 
Okay, so we have our cutout right here. We're just going to actually blue tape it up onto the corner. Um, and this is gonna kind of show us where we're gonna need to cut. Now I did cut this just a tad bigger than the actual tire itself. So it's not exact, which means we're not going to be cutting just yet. I need it to be perfect. These are expensive. I can't afford to make a mistake with these. And also I wanna make sure that the axle is at full bump before we do anything. So this is just gonna give us an idea on where we're gonna to need to cut. Now you can probably tell we're actually going to have to wrap it around to the back of the corner right here. Probably right where the clamp is right there. So we're going to try and bend that right now. starting to get a real feel for this vehicle. This is day 14 of the build and as of Monday it's going to be non-stop building here. There you have it guys. Something that we've been trying to get done the past two and a half, three days done and dusted and I could not be any happier about what we've done today. Now, just a quick reminder, the build starts again on Monday. I know I keep reminding you guys, but it is getting closer and closer. Chris Miller is coming into town over the weekend. We are going to work super hard on this build. I haven't told you who the co-driver is yet. That might happen next week and um, yeah. I gotta go because I have more things to do, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the morning. <laughs>